aim 3 in aim 3 we discuss the concept of uh, locus locus is the set of points in the plane which satisfies the given condition locus or a curve is the set of points in a plane which satisfies the given condition. Suppose let um, C be a fixed point the set of points in, a, in the plane which are at a constant distance small r from the fixed point C, then the locus represents a circle. Suppose C h comma k is a fixed point and P x comma y is any point in the locus. Here given condition is C p equals to small r by the distance formula C p value is square root of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to small r. By squaring on both sides we obtain x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. This is the equation of the circle. Here C is called center of the circle and r is called radius of the circle. Totally the locus of the points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point represent a circle. Here the fixed point C is called center and the constant distance small r is called radius. The equation of the circle is center at h comma k and the radius small r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. One more concept is there. In the locus, suppose if capital A comma capital B are any two fixed points, capital A comma capital B are any two fixed points. Now we have to find the locus of the point, locus of the point which is equidistant from A and B. which is equidistant from given points A and B. Already we know that midpoint of line segment AB is equidistant from A and B. That means uh, the point lie at the midpoint of A and B or draw a perpendicular at B. join this is a triangle. Suppose this is the midpoint, uh, this distance and this distance are equal, this is the common side, hence uh, this distance and this distance is also equal. Now P lies on this at this place also. Here P is any point on this line, this is this line is passing through the midpoint of the line segment AB and which is perpendicular to AB. Hence the required locus is a straight line and uh, this line represents 
the perpendicular bisector of A B. Totally, the locus of the point which is equidistant from two given points A and B point is right line. That line is the perpendicular bisector of A B. Now, we say about locus equation. If every point in the locus satisfies the equation f of x comma y equal to 0, that means a function x comma y equal to 0, then that equation is called locus equation. Again, if every point in the locus satisfies the equation f of x comma y equal to 0, then the equation f of x comma y equal to 0 is called locus equation. In analytical geometry, we represent locus as the equation. Now, we we'll discuss some problems on locus. Find the equation of the locus of the points. Find the equation of the locus of the points, which are at a distance of eight units from the point minus four comma minus three. Find the equation of the locus of the points, which are at a distance of 8 units from the given point 4 comma minus 3. Now, we solve this problem. Let a given point can be taken as c equals to 4 comma minus 3. Let p equals to x comma y be any point in the locus. Here given condition is C p equals to 8 units. That means, the distance from p to the given point C is 8 units. That means, C p equals to 8 units. C p means the distance between these two points that is square root of x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square equals to 8. That implies squaring on both sides x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square equals to 8 square. By expanding these two by using the formula a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. The value of x minus 4 whole square is x square minus 8 x plus 16 plus the value of y plus 3 whole square is y square plus 6 y plus 9 equals to 64. By simplification, we have x square plus y square minus 8 x plus 6 y minus 39 equal to 0. This is the locus of P. Totally, the 
the locus of uh, P is x square plus y square minus 8 x plus 6 y minus 39 equal to 0. Already we say that the locus of the point which is at a constant distance from the given fixed point represent a circle. Hence, this represent a circle. We observe that in a circle equation, three points are observed. The first one is circle equation is a second degree equation x comma y. Second one is quotient of x square equals to quotient of y square. And third one is quotient of x y equal to 0. Now, one more problem is discussed. Find the equation of the locus of the points which are equidistant. from minus 1 comma minus 1 and 4 comma 2. 